Anderson police officer is returning to active duty. The Board of Public Safety is clearing officer Brandon Reynolds for an arrest back in June. Video of that arrest showed Reynolds wrapping an arm around the neck of a man. Now this happened just two days after the police department banned the use of chokeholds. CBS 4's Kelly Rinke explains the decision tonight. Two Anderson police officers were placed on leave after this incident in June. Oh what the hey? Part of an internal investigation by the department looked into whether Officer Brandon Reynolds used a chokehold on 21 year old Spencer Nice. Anderson's police chief eventually recommended the firing of Officer Reynolds. Then this week, the Board of Public Safety cleared Reynolds of disciplinary charges. I'm glad that he's back. Uh, we don't want any of our members to be uh, unjustly terminated, and we want to focus on uh, making sure that we provide quality service to our uh, communities that we represent. The president of Anderson's Fraternal Order of Police believes the video shows a takedown maneuver rather than a chokehold. Members of the Board of Public Safety concluded Reynolds did not violate the code of conduct or use improper force. We wanted due process in this whole incident and uh, we did not want to express our differences via media. Chief Jake Brown declined our request for an interview today, but he made a public comment in June. We have other resources and tools to to our disposal, whether it be, you know, OC spray, uh, tasers, to, of course, depending on what's going on. Again, I, you know, I want to preface, there's a lot of variables on a, on, on a broad hypothetical. Tonight, FOP believes the members made the right decision. That they, that they took this serious and uh, came out with the correct conclusion of what happened. In Anderson, I'm Kelly Rinke, CBS 4 News. Spencer Nice still faces a charge of resisting law enforcement in connection with this incident.